one of the things that I, I wanted to talk about real quick was uh, negative pressure and containment systems for mold remediation. So um, I was in an HVAC supply. Let's see if that works. You can see me. Good. All right. So we do duct cleaning at my company and uh, we were out of duct screws. One of the, the guys called me and we need some sheet metal, whatever. So I ran into a, a duct cleaner supply store. And anytime I go into uh, trade supply houses, uh, whether it's electric, uh, electrical, HVAC, plumbing, I always look at their tools, um, their meters, things like that. Things that I can take from that industry and apply towards our own. Um, and a lot of the times, you know, um, anything geared towards this industry, it's like the minute you say uh, insurance, right, we're automatically overpaying for a lot of the stuff that we use, right, meters included. So um, I'm always keeping my eye out for, for different unique things. So when you do a mold remediation, we do a lot with mold. Um, you have to set up containment, you put it under negative pressure. I'm not going to get into too much, you know, what that means or why, right? But how you tell it's under negative pressure back in the day, and I've been in this industry since I was 16. Um, so it's, it's been cool to kind of see how things progress over time. Um, the rule of thumb, and a lot of people still go by this, by the way, is if the plastic bows, <laughs> right? So if you're standing in the containment, and you see it bow or outside the containment, you see it being sucked in, um, then, you know, it's safe to assume you're under negative pressure. The problem with that, right, is the problem is you don't know at what point your pressure becomes too much to where you're drawing air in from other unwanted areas or you run the risk of breach or collapse. And yeah, positive pressure filters, they help. Um, but I, it's fun, right? It's, it's, it's fun. So the, the right way to do it though is with a manometer, right? And there are companies out there geared towards our industry, um, focus on data logging, things like that. I think Omni, uh, is one of them there. They have like an 18 or $1,900 meter. I don't know. Never personally used it. Um, it was always just, just outside, just outside my justification range, right? So anytime I buy a meter or piece of equipment, I always look at the ROI or the return on the initial investment. I try and figure out how quickly it will pay for itself and then make me money. Uh, and then I also look at like, do I need it right now for this particular job? Will I need it in the, in the, in the near future or like further down the line? Um, you know, does it make sense to buy this now or later or at all, right? And so those are all kinds of different things I, I look at when I purchase equipment. So the Omni, especially with the, the old method of looking for the bow and all that other stuff, it was just out, outside of my price range. I did come across one used. Uh, I didn't know enough about it, to, uh, again, to justify. The dude wanted like $1,000 for it. I don't know, whatever. Um, I digress. The point is, in the HVAC supply, um, I found a manometer a manometer kit and they do have cheap versions of manometers. You don't have to buy, you know, an $1,800 manometer, but, um, field piece, right? This is, this is what I found, right? So I saw this box. I thought it looked cool. Uh, it's got a little iPhone on the side, but uh, field piece, it's a reputable company. Um, they make a lot of tools for the HVAC industry. The way it was explained to me is that like we have Phoenix and dry ease. So HVAC has field piece and they have field piece and like another company, right? Or DeWalt and, and Makita or Rigid or wh whatever it is, right? So like it's a, it's a good company. It's been around for a long time. A lot of people um, love their tools and, and go with a lot of their stuff. So that's what I found. What caught my eye though is that on the box, you see there's two meters. So at first I'm thinking, all right, cool. I'm going to get, I'm going to get two meters for, the price of one, which by the way, I think I paid a hundred and it's either 126 or $156 for it. Um, so not crazy expensive or, or anything like that. Um, but it, it came with a real cool bag, you know, it's got a little, little hip belt loop thing that I'll never use. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is the kit. I thought I was getting two meters. I'm not, uh, you're not. This kit is is one meter. Well, it's, it's two devices, but it's for one, 
um, it'll get you one in and one out, right? So the way that it works is you have you have your two pieces, and you turn this on, and you turn this on. This goes on the inside of the containment. This goes on the outside of the containment. And you can swap them too. So like at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. See it's red. This one is blue. Or it should be blue. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right? So there's a there's a switch on the back. So you can flip this switch. Yeah, it's a little tough. But you, you flip the switch and it goes from red to blue. So flick it again and it'll go back to red. So the idea is you set one up in and one out. Uh, red and blue makes it really easy. Um, and then it hooks up to an app. There's some really strong magnets, by the way. So like these, these come off. You can pull these off if you, if you don't want to use them. There is a magnet on this end. There's a magnet on this end. So if you get like a, you get a washer, right? And you have your six mil poly, put the washer on the inside and just sandwich that poly. It's strong enough to hold itself in place, which is very cool too. You can hang it anywhere. But anyway, uh, you download the app. The app is pretty neat. It's got a lot of different features to it. Um, you can set this up as a data logger and just leave them on site over time. You can let it run for three days, five days. You set it up in the app. Um, and, or you can just set it up and take an initial reading, break it down, bring it with you again the next day, take day two readings, whatever you want to do. Um, but you can freeze it. So like they're taking active readings, the numbers are jumping around, you hit the button, you hit freeze and then, uh, you generate report and it generates a report. Now the data log report is pretty cool. Cause all you do is you just generate report, uh, it has all your data log points and then you can upload it to whatever CRM system that you're using um, or send it to the adjuster or include it in the rest of your paperwork. Keep in mind, um, I use these on, on two or three jobs, so I have limited experience with this. And what I found is that they work really, really well um, for indoor outdoor containment. It shows you the, the pressure differential. Um, you can set goals and do whatever you need to do with that information. Um, they're handy, you know, and it's really nice. You don't have to run the cords anywhere. You just set it up wherever you need the reading. It's great. Um, the one downfall that I did find is I, I had personally had a lot of trouble setting it up in data log mode, right? So initially I want to just leave it on site. Um, but I, I couldn't figure out how to get it in data log mode. Clearing the device and resetting is really easy. You just hit the button one time and it'll clear it. Um, but yeah, setting it on, on data log, I gave me a really, really tough time for that. So I was talking to support. They think they have a workaround for it. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Regardless, even if data log doesn't work, just being able to, to hand this to one of my guys. Here, yo, stand outside the, the containment for a minute. You know, let me get this reading. Like, super convenient. Um... The, the Bluetooth that it hooks up to your phone through, I think you get like a 250 or 350 do, uh, foot range, something like that. I'll tell you on the box, hold on. It says uh, long range wireless. Here, you get 150 hours, 350 feet, line of sight. You can't go wrong, you know? It's just a great little tool and for the money it's, Great. So I highly recommend it. Check it out. Field piece. Uh, if you do buy one of these and you have trouble getting in data log mode, um, I, I recommend reaching out. Their support is pretty good. The app is pretty neat. Check that out. And, uh, and yeah, I hope you have a great new year and stay tuned for the next video.